In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from basic to a cinematic look using CapCut's color match. And of course, a little help from our friend Batman. So buckle up. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Open CapCut and create a new project. Here I have downloaded some clips and placed it on the timeline. When I scrub the timeline, each clip has its own color scheme. If you're going to present it like this to a client, it does not look professional. And we're going to change all that. You can select which frame has a better color palette and you can use that to match the entire clip. One of the biggest mistakes people make is select the clip individually and then going to each adjustment, then going through every adjustment and try to make individual adjustment for that particular section, which is time consuming. And also it's very difficult to remember which adjustment you made on one clip and trying to copy the same thing to the other clips. Of course, you can copy the attribute to the other clips, but still it's not sufficient. Especially if you have so many small clips within your timeline to try to make a 30 minute movie. There is a better way of doing that. Instead of selecting each clip individually, it's easier to create a layer to make that adjustment. Go to your adjustment tab, click on adjustment and add that adjustment to your timeline. Expand the adjustment layer to cover the entire clip on the timeline. When you scrub the timeline, nothing happens because we haven't done anything yet. Click the adjustment layer over here in the basic tab. If you scroll up and down, you're still going to see the same choices to make those adjustments. Now, if you decrease the exposure, it affects the entire clip. So we don't have to do that individually on every clip. And that's why it's very important to use the adjustment layer. So you have better control on your timeline. Now, if you do any color correction or auto adjust, it affects the entire clip and we don't have to worry about any other individual clips within the timeline. These are very basic adjustments that you can make into your timeline. Let me show you something better. Let's make it more cinematic. Click on color match. To start, let's try to color match it with one of those clips inside our timeline. Let's select this frame right here. Click on it to select it and click on OK. Now the entire timeline uses the same color reference from that particular clip. Let's try to select another color match. Click on the pencil. Then go through each frame and select the one you want to use for your color match. Let's select this clip for our color reference. Now the entire clip uses that color reference from that waterfront clip. To do a comparison, go ahead and turn off the color match. As you can see, it gets darker and lighter, darker, lighter. And that's the color match it used from the waterfront clip. Let's go to color match, turn it back on and use intensity to use a slider to select the desired setting. And now let's get real cinematic. Click on pencil, then click on local. Click the plus to open the image. Here I've downloaded some movie scenes pictures from Google to use it as a color reference. If you want your movie to look like one of the scenes from the Hollywood movies, click on one of them. Over here we have movie 300. Now our timeline uses a movie 300 color reference. Let's turn off the color match to see the difference. You can adjust intensity if you need it. Let's change the color scheme to another movie frame. Go to local, open your file, and this time we're going to select Batman. Click on it, click open. This is a Batman frame. And now the entire clip uses the Batman color reference. 
Our timeline got a little bit darker, just like the Batman movie, even the sunset got darker. It's got a nice tone to it. If you look at the sky here, it's kind of bluish like that Batman scene. And if you scroll, this the scene looks good, looks very cinematic right now. The scene has a nice yellow and bluish cinematic look. I want to try another color match. Click on local, click on plus, and select another one. Let's go with wicked and click OK and click OK again. And now the scene looks like a wicked movie. If you turn it back on and off, you can see the difference. As you can see, the shirt has changed to a green color. If you turn off the color match and color back on, you can see the difference. Sometimes depending on the scene, you may have to play with the intensity to bring down the color so it's not so much burned when you play it back. Let's try another color match. Click on pencil, click on local, click on plus, and now this time let's select Wonder Woman. Now our timeline has switched to Wonder Woman color scheme. Bring up the slider and preview the timeline. I want to try another color match. Click on pencil, click on local, click on plus, and let's select Superman. This is a scene from the Superman in the courtroom. Now the entire clip is Superman-ish. Check the comparison by turning off the color match back on and off. I want to try another look. Click on pencil, click on local, and click on plus. And this time I want to use the Batman Dark Knight. Now everything looks lighter just like the poster itself and it has more relaxed colors. And the nicest thing about all this is your clip carries one color scheme and not multiple color schemes, which makes it more easier on eyes when you are presenting this to a client. Turn on color correction, then turn on auto adjust. Now preview the timeline. You may also use the other adjustment tools that you have in CapCut, such as HSL, curves, and color reveals. Play around with color adjustment tools to reach your desired setting. Let's try another color match. Go to color match, click on pencil, click on local, and click on plus. Now let's try another color scheme. Let's try Wicked, another Wicked, and open up, and OK. Now the timeline has changed to Wicked color reference. In my experience, using the Batman color reference gives you a better cinematic look. Let's open our file and select Batman. This color reference has more vivid colors in it and it gives you more cinematic look. Just look at this image. It looks very cinematic and all the colors are just about right. And if you look at the crime scene, the yellow color and bluish looks perfect. Let's do a comparison. Let's turn it off and you can tell how cinematic it became. Don't get me wrong, using color correction is also very imperative to use. When you turn it on, it becomes more cinematic and also auto adjust plays a different role too. So make sure you have all these three on when you're trying to make your movie look cinematic. I'm gonna show you another cinematic look trick. Now what we need to do is we need to apply some kind of cinematic look to this clip. Instead of selecting every clip individually by holding the control key, let me show you another trick that makes it a lot easier and saves you a lot of time. Go all the way to the end of the clip. Now click and drag the mouse all the way to the left to the beginning of the clip. 
Now right click on the clip, click on create compound clip, and it creates one whole clip out of all those little ones. And now go to edit, go to ratio, and over here I want you to bring down the top slider and then do the same thing to the bottom one to give it this cinematic look and press OK. Now we have this beautiful black frame on top and bottom and when you play it back it looks more cinematic. Applying the Batman color reference and cinematic frame it gives it a nice a cinematic look but we still have another tool that we can use to make it super cinematic. Go to the effects section and type in vignette. Now click on the one on the right and then apply it to the clip. And when you preview the timeline, it's very obvious that this corner shadows will make a huge impact in your cinematic look. And that's all there is to it. With a little practice, I'm sure you can master this at no time. And I see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Please watch other related tutorials offered to you on this screen.